But for people who don't know who Larry Chen is, explain to people what you do. Hmm. Well, um, I'm, I'm sure most of your listeners know what Hoonigan is. And probably they, they probably know the kind of content that Hoonigan comes out with. We are lucky in that we are not tied down to a certain location. And naturally, because of my work as an automotive photographer, it pretty much just allows me to travel the world on someone else's dime. Mm -hmm. With that, we are allowed to have something like Hoonigan Autofocus. You know, it's, it's, it's almost like funded by everybody. Everybody who hires me, in a way, has a part of Hoonigan Autofocus because mm -hmm. otherwise, how would we ever be able to travel and get all this cool stuff? You know, meeting new people, meeting friends, uh, getting exclusive access to all these collections. It's just really is a group effort to kind of have something like this work because if anybody has anything to do with the YouTube scape or if, if, if you know media at all, you know, it's basically impossible. The, the money just doesn't add up to create something like Kuningen Autofocus. Everything is so expensive in terms of traveling, in terms of camera equipment, in terms of just everything. So for us to do it, it's, it's definitely a passion project and we absolutely love it. And it definitely, you know, keeps us relevant in the car community. Mm -hmm. Part of it is also, it's pretty much continues on what I've been doing for work for over 10 years, maybe even longer than that. In terms of being an automotive journalist, I'm just telling the story of these cars and these shops, these hole in the wall sh uh, shops, and maybe these first time car builders, they've never built anything before. But even if they didn't even have a big budget, they're building something so interesting and they're kind of putting their own take on it. it it's worth a second look and it's worth me actually putting the effort to kind of show the world what this particular builder did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think the recent videos, uh, the ones that stand out when you mention that, is like the three five six video, the the that's recent, I think, with the like the livery on it that's so loud. Um, mm -hmm. And then you know, there's the stuff like um, I think it's the MK, the one down in Miami you did with uh, I can't remember his name, but like the the S two thousand swap with the old. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no. yeah, um, that thing. That that's exactly what I'm talking about, right? Uh, realistically if you see something like that and if it's not shot in a particular way it could look like something that's just kind of hobbled together and it's just barely running and it's kind of falling apart but there is a beauty in that and there's something so special about that it, it's just so unique right and and the story about it and just the looks it's it's so crazy. I mean, of course, Florida, right? You, yeah. Only in Florida, you can have something like that and you can drive it on the street and, the, and then the cops don't bat an eye. They just see basically like this open wheel um, race car on the street and making all the crazy noises. It, it's uh, really cool to tell that story. And the thing is like a lot of times when I am doing these videos or when I'm doing these uh, still photograph journeys, especially in Japan, I'll meet with these people, these owners and these shops, and they ask me, why, are, why am I even there? Why do I want to even tell their story? Because in their eyes, they're just this regular car guy. You know, they're just like me and you. They just like building cars. They like working on cars. And what they're doing, they don't think it's anything unique at all. But I just... I had to tell them like, look, you guys don't realize it, but you're the trendsetters. Like everyone is looking at what you guys are doing mm -hmm. and I'm just doing the smallest part. I'm actually doing the easiest part. I'm just telling the story. This guy probably spent whatever years uh, of his life and countless however many dollars or, or yen to, to build this thing. And I just come within three hours, I basically capture the story. 